so I'm just on a run this, this morning. But uh, another guy who deserves MVP is Cam Newton. What <laughs> Cam Newton? You know, it's uh, it's funny. A couple of weeks ago, I was having a conversation with one of my dudes, Corey. I was driving back. Uh, I had like a, an hour drive, so <clears throat> I was talking to my dude about Cam Newton when Cam Newton was playing on Sunday night. I believe it was. I'm not sure, Sunday night or he had the one o'clock game out here on the West Coast. But um, I was saying every million people God creates, he blesses them with everything. Like Cam Newton is blessed with everything. You know, like um, I think I'm I'm going to make this. I'm going to make someone with great athletically, good looking, great size and charisma and leadership characteristics. Cam Newton was the one millionth man God created. It's just amazing. And he's exemplifying all those characteristics this year in this football season. And it, it takes time for uh, for athletes to actually, one, accept it. Um, a, a great example of an athlete who is unaccepting of their God-given ability is J.R. Smith. God gave him everything. I've seen him play live in a pickup game. His lower base, he has great size, great athleticism. He just doesn't have the aptitude, you know. He's just going to be like one of them guys who's just going to end his NBA career and he's going to be an afterthought. But Cam Newton, what Cam Newton is doing this year with B-level athletes, with the exception of Olsen, unflipping believable. Um, did you see how many passes... Again, how many touchdown passes? Again, dropped three touchdown passes yesterday. Cam Newton deserves MVP. Uh, he deserves ESPN Athlete of the Year. He deserves Sports Illustrated Athlete of the Year, Man of the Year. Um, it's nothing he's not doing. And it was funny, a sidebar. I was still the same conversation with Corey. And I was we were joking. I says, if Cam Newton still stole your girl or stole your wife, you couldn't really be mad. Because <laughs> you're like, oh, I get it. I understand. Hey, Cam Newton, I mean, um, I'm not, this is not like, I don't want to think like this is me saying it from a lack of masculinity, but Cam Newton has everything. And uh, he's like uh, Oscar De La Hoya. I mean, had everything from the looks to the athletic ability to the brains. You know, um, O.J. Simpson was the same way. Um, just had everything, you know. And um, Cam Newton won NFL MVP yesterday. I know people in New England and Boston area, the Eastern Peninsula, are going to scream Tom Brady. How can you argue against Tom Brady? You can't argue if they pick... Tom Brady over Cam Newton. It's fair. It's absolutely fair. If they pick Cam Newton over Tom Brady, it's absolutely fair. But he'll get the AFC MVP and Cam Newton will get the NFC MVP. But I, I, who's going to get the player of the NFL MVP? Who's going to get the ESPN Man of the Year? And it should be Cam Newton. Uh, they have a chance to win out, have a perfect season. And... What you guys fail to remember or may not remember is that Benjamin, the wide receiver, the, he he was a rookie last year out of Florida State. Remember, they lost him in the preseason with a torn ACL, and he was their best wide receiver. And don't forget, they, Steve Smith went to Baltimore. Uh, uh, D'Angelo Williams went to Pittsburgh. So he's dealing with a lot of rejects ted get ted ginn was basically thrown away i was kicked out of miami miami dolphins and they picked him up and he dropped three touchdown passes against uh new orleans but they still came back and won so cam newton deserves mvp um i absolutely love everything about him i love the dance and i love the dapping i don't care what no one says it, it's part of the game uh I, I believe he makes young athletes want to be football players there are very few athletes in this universe that can inspire you to want to be uh to play their sport Floyd Mayweather isn't isn't the kind of athlete that says you know what I want to be a boxer Cam Newton is one of the few athletes that when you look at him you're like 
I want to be a boxer. I mean, excuse me, I want to be a football player. He just makes it look so effortlessly. You know, Barry Sanders was the same way. You look at Barry Sanders like, damn, I want to play football. You know, when Magic Johnson played basketball, I want to play basketball, you know. So there's, there are very few athletes that that can inspire you to want to, to do what they do. But Barbershop Conversations, appreciate you guys' support. Cam Newton deserves all the awards. Um, if Tom Brady doesn't get them, Cam Newton deserves them. And Tom Brady deserves it. I mean, he's what, what he's doing with, with New England with, again, B-level athletes, but he does have Gronkowski and Edelman is out. But... Cam Newton deserves everything. I love the fact that he gives the footballs away to fans. He don't keep them. Cam Newton is the man. And uh, I don't have a vote for MVP, but uh, he rightfully deserves it. But uh, Barbershop Conversations, appreciate you guys' support. Cam Newton for MVP. Christian McCaffrey for Heisman. And uh, Barbershop Conversation, I'm out. Peace.